For those looking to buy or sell Madden Ultimate Team Coins, check out the Mutt Store. They have cheap prices, fast delivery, and great customer service. Use code TEXAS at checkout for a 10% discount. Yo, what's going on, it's your boy Tex, back over here at part number 5 of the Budget Beast. Today, there are going to be two episodes up on the channel, so don't miss out on the budget greatness. Now, a lot of you guys have had some pretty good suggestions, and some of you guys have not. So, I'm going to go ahead and call some guys out. No, no, no shade here, no hard feelings, but I'm going to tell you guys why these guys aren't budget beasts. So, just call me Kevin YouTube. He said, swear to God, if Deion Lewis isn't here, and the reason he's on his list is pretty simple. The dude can't catch. And that's not his fault, that's EA's fault. A lot of hatbacks in this game that are receiving backs don't have the highest catch rating. I'm not too sure who the highest receiving hatback over here in this game is, but I'm kind of annoyed that guys like Danny Woodhead, uh, Deion Lewis, Reggie Bush don't have high catch ratings, even though these guys are really good receiving backs in real life. So he's not on this list just because he does not fit my criteria as a great halfback. He's really fast, but you also got 88 speed, 84 trucking halfbacks that are going for less than him and also provide more of a impact to the game. And that is why he's not on the list, Kevin. But there is a halfback I'm about to show you guys that does have impact. Let's that is to going to be this Latavis Murray. This guy has so much impact on the game. He is the next evolution of the halfbacks that are in the league right now. We got all these 6'2", 6'3", halfbacks, and this dude is one of them. Look, 6'3", 89 speed, 90 acceleration with an 85 truck rating. This guy can outrun cornerback safeties and linebackers. If he can't outrun them, he will run right through them. Now, here he is compared to Deion Lewis, who, again, is a really good halfback. He just doesn't have what I'm looking for in a guy that can do it all, especially for the budget going for right now. So a guy that can do it all, you can either get a guy that can truck and outrun people or you just get a guy that can outrun people. Now, to catch it, I think Deion Lewis's catch is going to be a little bit better. It's 669. 65 so no not really so only a four boosting catcher this this will is murray is that guy he is that guy so if you guys are looking for a nice halfback for the low price of 2800 coins pick him up or if you guys got the time grind out the solo challenge for the team heroes or team what do you call it team team solos whatever the hell they're called you will get a 77 i believe latavis murray for free Attributes look similar, so if you guys don't want to spend a coin, you got the time to play some solo challenge, get one for free. Thanks to Sebastian Vizo for the Latavius Murray suggestion. I knew this guy was good, but I legit forgot how good he was until I seen this card over here in the game. So thanks for the suggestion, man. Keep commenting down in the section below. In this series alone, we haven't really been discussing defensive linemen, mostly linebackers, running backs, receivers, and people like that. Let's go ahead and talk about these big dudes. The pass rush over here in Madden will make the difference between winning and losing. If you get a pass rush, your opponent has no time to throw the ball down the field, which may result in sack fumbles. That happens so often, guys. It's it's absurd how many times the quarterback sacks when he gets, or <laughs> how many times the quarterback fumbles when he gets sacked. It is stupid dumb that they think that's how that game's supposed to be played, but it happens often. So go ahead and abuse that mechanic while they still have it in the game, because I'm pretty sure it's gonna get tuned out of the next update. But, yo, get these guys that have high block shit. Jonathan Hankins, high block shit. 89 block shit, 90 strength. Really good, 2,000 coins. A bit over budget, we got this Damon Harrison, who has 93 block shit. Now, these guys aren't the fastest, but speed in this game is kind of a myth. I mean, kind of. Like, speed does matter, but I've been playing a lot of ranked draft champions, and maybe that's not like an indicator over for Mutt. But, yo, people will be out here booking it. Like, you got some slow linebackers out here playing man coverage against some fast receivers. It's out of control, so... Speed right now kind of seems annoying on defense, so you can probably get by just using these slow, big, lumbering, but really good and strong fellas out here just to get to the quarterback easily because they will get back there so fast. So, if you guys, it's kind of weird. Why do the Giants got 2D tackles that are two different chemistries? It don't matter. But, yo, I love both these guys, and I would keep using Hankins if I didn't have Linville Joseph, but Linville Joseph is going for a lot more. And so he can't be a budget beast, but you gotta see why I upgraded. Look, like I upgraded, but I spent like 10,000 coins. If you really want to save some coins, go ahead and get yourself Jonathan Hankins at D tackle. Last today, we got this John Tay Green. This guy is six foot, 88 speed, 88 acceleration, 80 zone coverage. And I like this guy's card a lot. And I think it once they tuned the game, once they tuned the game down to where these guys that have really good zone will play good in zone coverage, this guy might be a guy you should go after. But as of right now, He's a guy you should go after and just put him out here in man coverage. I don't know why quarters contain man press is really good this year, 
but it is really good this year, especially because they did not tune the three-man pass rush. Dudes be coming in like crazy on the three-man pass rush. The offensive lineman blocking is still stupid. I don't know what separates this guy from Darrell Revis or from Richard Sherman. Like A lot of these cornerbacks, in my opinion, play the same. And it's so frustrating because you'll draft three good receivers and a guy come out of man coverage and nobody gets open against the, their cornerbacks. And that could be from Joe Hayden to Trey Wayne. It's just like, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand it that much. So it kind of annoys me. But if they do tune the game and they do kind of make zone coverage and man coverage a little lesson, the guys that have high attributes should be playing well in that, which means a guy like this would be a guy you should go ahead and pick up for your team. So thanks to Hilario Villa for this suggestion. And thank you to all for your suggestions. I could not do the series without you guys. Comment down in the section below. So thank you, and I appreciate every single one of you. I'll be doing another one of these later on today, so stay tuned for that. Also, I did a podcast over on That Dude Slides channel with Gut Fox, and we talked about why I hate this game as much as I do. I only hate the game now. Like I, I hate the gameplay. I love Mutt, but I hate the gameplay so much. And we talk about the flaws, the glitches, the bugs, and a bunch of other things that you guys might find interesting. If you guys are grinding solo challenges out and need something to listen to, go ahead and check that out. If you guys are enjoying this series, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll be catching you with the bleepers in the next one. Peace.